Scientists are baffled at what they found while peering into the distant sky. This newfound alien world may force researchers to rethink some of their ideas about planet formation as they've not witnessed something this unique. And considering there are over 10 trillion planets in our galaxy alone, this type of planet might not be the first. But what makes this planet so special? And why are scientists scratching their head over it? I'm sure you've read the title and you already know what's coming up. The planet known as B Centauri b is among the heaviest ever found. The exoplanet is 11 times more massive than Jupiter and resides in B Centauri, a young binary star system about 325 light years from Earth, a researcher's new study suggests. Combined, the two stars in B Centauri are 6 to 10 times heftier than our Sun making the system by far the most massive in which a planet has been discovered to date. B Centauri is also the hottest known planet-hosting star system, researchers said. The study's lead author, Marcus Janssen, an astronomer at Stockholm University in Sweden, said in a statement, Finding a planet around B Centauri was very exciting since it completely changes the picture about massive stars as planet hosts. The two B Centauri stars are about 15 million years old, mere children compared to our Sun, which has been burning for more than 4.5 billion years. The combined mass of the two stars would seemingly make them highly unlikely hosts for planets considering the heftiest known planet-harboring binary star system contains 2.7 solar masses. If you already didn't know, a solar mass is a standard unit of mass in astronomy that's equal to approximately 2 times 10 to the 30th power kilograms. To put that into perspective, that's a 22-digit number. Sheesh, and I thought I had a big lunch today. Anyway, it is used to calculate the masses of other stars, stellar clusters, nebulae, galaxies, and black holes. One solar mass is about equal to the mass of the Sun. All right, moving on. The heftiest single star confirmed to have worlds orbiting them are around three times more massive than our Sun, according to the study's team members. The B Centauri system's heat and power bolsters this. The main star, B Centauri A, is a B-type star with an estimated temperature of around 32,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 18,000 degrees Celsius, according to the researchers. That's about three times hotter than our G-type Sun and hotter than any other known planet-hosting star. B Centauri b is hence hypothesized to be blasting out lots of high-energy X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, which tends to disperse planet-forming dust and gas. Jensen further explained, B-type stars are generally considered as quite destructive and dangerous environments. It was believed that it should be exceedingly difficult to form large planets around them. This newfound planet has been breaking records that weren't even previously set. Jansen and his colleagues discovered B Centauri b by using the Spectropolarimetric High Contrast Exoplanet Research, or the SPHERE instrument which is installed on the European Southern Observatories, or ESO's, Very Large Telescope in Chile. SPHERE took a direct image of B Centauri b, something that the instrument has pulled off several times over with other exoplanets. The analysis of the SPHERE observations allowed the researchers to characterize the planet, which has other extraordinary characteristics beyond its ginormous size and the mass and heat of its parent stars. The team's research also revealed that ESO's 3.6-meter telescope in Chile has managed to take pictures of the newfound planet more than 20 years ago, though no one had a clue about it at the time. For example, B Centauri b currently lies about 550 astronomical units, or AUs, from the two stars. That's about 14 times farther away than Pluto's average distance from the Sun. Okay, quick recap, 1 AU is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. That's about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. 
So, 550 astronomical units is one of the widest planetary orbits ever known, the authors of the study mentioned. This immense distance may explain the planet's survival, keeping it at a relatively safe distance from the radiation blasting from the core of the B Centauri system stars. That, though, brings up another question. How were they formed? Scientists are still a little unsure about B Centauri B's origin story at the moment. Some believe that it may have formed relatively close to the binary star system via core accretion, which is the most common planet-forming process in which dust grains in a protoplanetary disk merge together to form rocky building blocks, whose gravitational attraction eventually brings them together, forming planets. The young world could then have been booted to its present location by gravitational interactions, revealed the team of researchers. It's also possible that B Centauri B was born close to its current position, where core accretion is less likely, given the lower density of material out there. A formation that's far-reaching if it did occur may have involved a different method of planet forming known as gravitational instability. Caitlin Crater of the University of Arizona Stewart Observatory wrote in an accompanying piece, This top-down model requires that the mass of the protoplanetary disk be so large that it causes part of the disk to collapse in on itself under the pull of its own gravity. When this happens, a small secondary body is created and starts to orbit the star. Crater continued writing, The gravitational instability mechanism also tends to create objects that are very large, so large, in fact, that they fail to become planets. Compared with the stars in its orbits, this planet is small, making gravitational instability less likely than core accretion. Perhaps it is just a planet similar to Jupiter flung out to the far reaches of its stellar system through an interaction with the stars it orbits. A broad census of planets associated with large stars will help to clarify the exact mechanism of its formation. So, B Centauri b could have been formed through a different process than the conventional way scientists currently understand, but until now, even though it hasn't been confirmed, most researchers are pinpointing it to core accretion. The dust grains in the protoplanetary disk which surrounds the fledgling star begin glomming onto each other and eventually these snowballing dust grains grow to form concentrated planetary cores that begin to capture more rocky debris. If they're massive enough, they can start collecting gas to form an atmosphere. Some also say that perhaps a planet as massive as B Centauri b formed more like a star. The planetary disk itself could have been large enough to support the existence of a gas cloud that eventually collapsed under its own weight directly forming a planet, but this too has not been confirmed yet. As we mentioned before, there could be over 10 trillion planets in our galaxy alone, and astronomers now have reason to think that there may be many more planets like B Centauri b, but unfortunately, they might have been previously overlooked. That's primarily because most large direct imaging surveys today are focused on sun-like stars and aren't necessarily looking out for planets, especially with characteristics like B Centauri b. There are also some planet candidates that have not yet been confirmed that orbit even more massive stars. These include M51 ULS-1, a recently discovered candidate found in the galaxy M51 that may be orbiting a binary system with a mass of at least 20 solar masses. This gives scientists a whole lot of room to explore and find these celestial gems all over, not just in the galaxy, but even further. The study's co-author, Matthias Samland, an astronomer at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg, Germany, said in a statement, We have always had a very solar system-centric view of what planetary systems are supposed to look like, but over the last decade, the diversity of discovered planetary systems have forced us to widen our historically narrow view. This discovery adds another exciting chapter to this story, this time for massive stars. 
With the newly launched James Webb Telescope and a host of other next-gen observatories yet to come, the odds of finding similar planets like B Centauri b have outright doubled, and we might just find these types of planets sooner rather than later. Who knows what could be lingering out there, something even more unique and fascinating. I guess all we have to do is wait and watch. So, what kind of planets do you think these next-gen observatories will find? And how unique do you think they'll be? Let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.